Ayan was a lovely boy. He liked making friends. However, often he would ignore his desires to make others happy. Ayan was always torn between things he wanted to do and things people around him expected to do. For example, once Ayan went shopping with his mother. He wanted to buy shorts, but his mother liked him in trousers better. So, Ayan went for the trousers. On another occasion, Ayan went camping with his cousin. His cousin wanted to play cricket, but Ayan wanted to click pictures. To please him, he had to put aside his camera and spend the day playing cricket with him. Doing what others wanted him to do had become Ayan's habit. Gradually, he started losing interest in everything. One day, his grandpa brought Ayan a multicolored sweater that his grandma had woven especially for him. It had several colors and Ayan really liked it. After dinner, while everyone was together in the living room, Grandpa showed the sweater to everyone and asked everyone to point out a flaw in it. Everyone had a different opinion about it. Mom said, I didn't like the red color in it. Dad said, It would have been better if brown wasn't in it. Cousin Sarha remarked, Oh, I hate the triangles in it. Finally, Aeon's brother said, The yellow pattern looks awful. Great, said Grandpa. So now, we can improve the sweater according to everyone's choice. Grandpa asked Ayan to bring a scissors and everyone sat down to watch attentively what he was about to do. Grandpa cut a small knot in the sweater and started his job. Mom doesn't like the red color, said Grandpa and pulled out all the red strings in the sweater. Next, he pulled out all the brown strings in the sweater as Dad didn't like the color brown. Mom tried to stop Grandpa but he insisted to let him do what he was doing. Then, he took the scissors and cut down all the triangles in the sweater as Sarah didn't like them. Finally, he cut the yellow pattern in the sweater to please Ayan's brother. All that was left was torn, loose bundle of threads that made no sense. Grandpa took this bundle and gave it to Aeon. There you are, my son, he said with a smile. How do you like it now? Everyone was amazed to see this. Aeon looked at Grandpa and said, But this is not a sweater anymore. It is useless. Yes, my boy, replied Grandpa. But this is what you are. All the colors and patterns that were there kept the sweater intact. This is how your special self is. Whenever you repeatedly sacrifice your wishes and desires for others to make them happy, you pull out a special thread or cut a special pattern. If you keep ignoring yourself, you will be like this bundle of unrelated threads that's make no sense.
but people expect things from me said ayan there will always be people who will expect a lot of things from you said grandpa but it is up to you to set priorities for your needs if you won't pay attention to your needs nobody will ayan understood the lesson behind grandpa's sweater he gathered what was left on the sweater and placed it in his cupboard he promised to himself that from that day on he won't let anyone decide for himself that was the only way to take care of his special self